Word to your mother, boys and girls. It's your boy Sniper West coming at you here from theoddsbreakers.com on Saturday, November 9th, 2024 with some more free plays for you guys here today. My name is Sniper West. You can check me out on Twitter or X over at the Sniper Picks. Um, you can follow me on this YouTube channel and subscribe and like as well if you'd like. Um, that would be awesome. That helps our analytics. And I would recommend going to check out the Odds Breakers. Uh, it's a great website. Uh, all kinds of free plays. There is a Telegram channel. There are articles. And you can actually get a uh, premium package from me for a month of plays for 150 bucks over there. If you do want to just get a daily pass or a weekly pass, you can go over to Winners and Winers or Picks and Parlays. They are available there as well. Um, we have a huge weekend here. We have a ton of college football going off. We have college basketball. We have the NHL. We have the NBA. And we have the NFL. And we have UFC. And actually, there's two CFL games, too. And I think that is everything I have going for the weekend. So a lot of stuff going on, but I am ready to go. I have all my action already turned in. And uh, the plays are available for purchase if you want to go select them. So I'm um, doing pretty well over the websites, too. Still, um, you know, all over the leaderboards there. So... Um, let's go ahead and get to these free plays because I know that's why you're here today and I am going to start in college football for you. So I'm going to go with Alabama and LSU. Um, so both these teams are six and two Bama won 42 to 28 last year. So LSU does have a revenge Bama. They go for 432 yards a game LSU 448 yards per game offensively. Um, the loser of this game is likely eliminated from the playoff picture, so it's a huge spot for both teams. LSU, they're off the 38-23 loss to AM, so they want to you know get back in the win column here, obviously. But I like the under here. So Bama, they've gone under two games in a row. Also, you have just elite NFL athletes on you know both defenses here, and I think points are going to be harder to come by than most think, and I'm going to take the under here, under 58.5 between Alabama and LSU. Uh, jumping over to the NBA, I like the Raptors here over the Clippers, so... Toronto plus the points. So Toronto's two and seven. LA's four and four. It's interesting though. Toronto they're seven and two against the spread. So even though they're two and seven, they still tend to stay inside the number, right? And uh, the Clippers they've blown the Raptors out the last four head to head. So you know Toronto does have revenge for all those players who remember those losses. And I like Toronto to hang tough here. They're going to LA. They're going to play you know in the Intuit Dome, which is kind of a shiny new spectacle. So they'll probably be up to play the Clippers here. I'm going to take the Raptors plus the points. Uh, also on the ice here, jumping over to the NHL, I like the Oilers and Canucks over six and a half goals. So Edmonton six seven and one, Vancouver seven two and three. Vancouver's playing very well. No Evander Kane for Edmonton, but McDavid is back. Uh, if you remember these two teams, they played in the playoffs last year. Edmonton won in seven games, so Vancouver does want some payback here. Edmonton, they're in off two losses, so they want to get back in the win column. The Canucks have won three straight, so this could be a letdown spot for them, but I don't think so because they're playing you know, the Oilers, and they want to pay them back for that playoff loss. But I like the over here. So, you know, Vancouver's been playing very well offensively as of late. I think they've scored something like 12 goals in the past three games. Edmonton, they've only scored twice in their past two games. So they're going to want to, you know, gel and come together offensively. And I think they're going to do just that. I'm going to take the over six and a half between the Oilers and the Canucks here uh, in the evening. So uh, your final play is going to be in college basketball. I'm going to take Arkansas over Baylor. So I'm going to just do the money line. I think they're plus one currently, but I'm going to take Arkansas money line over Baylor. So it's a big game for both programs. They're playing at American Airlines Center, which is where the Dallas Mavericks play. So it was an NBA arena. So they will be jacked up to play here. Baylor got boat race, man. They lost to number six Gonzaga. They lost 101 to 63. So pretty you know, embarrassing. The Razorbacks, they kicked off the John Calipari era. They beat Lipscomb 76-60, to and they actually pushed on that spread. But, you know, obviously, it's two prominent national championship winning coaches here. You have Scott Drew and you have John Calipari. Uh, they both have won national championships. In fact, Scott Drew was supposed to take John Calipari's place at Kentucky, but he opted to remain at Baylor. But one thing to keep in mind about Baylor, they only have one returning starter, so I think it's going to take a while for them to come together and gel, you know, both offensively and defensively. So I'm going to take Arkansas. I think they get it done. Um, let's go ahead and recap. I am taking Alabama and LSU under 58 and a half. I'm taking the Raptors plus the points over the Clippers. I am taking the Oilers and Canucks over six and a half, and I am taking Arkansas money line over Baylor. And that is going to be your free play video today, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sniper West. Like I said, Twitter is at the Sniper Picks. You can like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It does help the analytics, and I would recommend going and checking out the Odds Breakers as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow with uh, likely a bunch of NFL stuff. And until then, have a great day, make a bunch of money, and peace out.